Since taking over the Ole Miss volleyball program in 2019, head coach Kayla Banworth has led a complete culture shift. The global pandemic forced the program to brace through an SEC-only slate in 2020, but 2021 is a new beginning. With a roster bolstered by transfers, the Rebels swept all 11 non-conference foes to start the year, but the challenge of the SEC still awaited. Now in the midst of conference play, the Rebels host the Gamecocks with victory on their mind. Twenty twenty marked the first season with Olympian Kayla Banworth as Ole Miss Volleyball's head coach. After inheriting a young team, Banworth sought leadership and experience for the twenty twenty one season. I think one of the things last year that we were missing was the experience piece and the leadership piece. We had a lot of really young players out there, and just you know the one senior and Bailey Scott. Um, so we were a very young team last year, to, so to be able to bring in some, some experience, some leadership, and a couple of players that have played in really high-level matches was, was pretty huge for us. Banworth found what her program needed in graduate transfers Sam Bergio and Kylie McLaughlin. Kayla reached out to me, and she's a very prestigious player and started her coaching career, and that was really exciting, and then all the girls on the team were Super awesome, super nice, and uh, I've heard a lot about Ole Miss, how, how great of a school it is, and you know, academically and everything else, and it's, it's been awesome so far. Maggie Scott was one of the first people to reach out to me, and so I decided to give her a call, and she made it feel really homey to come here, and like, very welcoming, which was really what I felt when I made the move and the commitment to come here. Everybody was so helpful, I mean, from the staff and I have the coaches, but even like our academic staff and like Becca, the trainer, like everybody was just so helpful. It's been super cool to have Kylie and Sam on this team. Um, I've never been on a team with a grad transfer or anything like that, and so it's been really, really cool to have two very experienced players with lots of playing time and lots of different skills under their belt. I remember watching Kylie play on like the 17s team and I was probably like 14 and I was like, I was like, you're really good. <laughs> but she like didn't know who I was. <laughs> and then so I heard she was coming here and I was like, wow, this is gonna be really good. <laughs> the seasoned vets got right to work once in Oxford, finding themselves in supportive mentoring roles and as additional resources for younger players. Kylie, it's, she's been a blessing for this program in every way, and she, she's a winner. And she wants to win, and she knows how to win, and, and she's a, a fierce competitor. You've got to have players who are going to command the offense and give your Kylie McLaughlin, speaking of players with notable resumes, give them just free will to, to set whomever they'd like. Sam, I have respected from day one. Coming from Maryland, I knew like she knew what she was doing and like it was a lot for her to be able to like coach me and like I listened to her very well and so like what she would say would make sense in my head. So like she actually helped me a lot with my top spin serve, like got that from where it was last year and like helps me with passing. <laughs> definitely role models for all of us and like they have different experiences and similar experiences so it's really nice to get all that knowledge coming from them. I like to help people and I like to be there for my teammates and know what it takes to win so bringing that and kind of helping everybody and you know we got Sam Bergio too who's been in the same position so both of us we we, um, we came in and we're like all right let's let's get on track just being a fifth year in general, you kind of like Kayla said that that's kind of the role that me and Kylie would have just because we are older, we have so we have the most playing experience out of anybody here. So I think that it was kind of like communicated and then I kind of felt it as I stepped into open gyms and then in practices and stuff, being able to talk about things with them and then them actually like 
the team really respected us and they really listened to what we have to say. I do think with age comes like knowledge and all of that, so they definitely have a lot more knowledge than we do and they brought a lot of that to our team this year. With a general-like poise from Burgio and unstoppable ferocity in McLaughlin, Ole Miss Volleyball found themselves in a best of both worlds leadership scenario. They definitely balance each other out. Like, Kylie has a lot of energy, Sam's more mellow. That's me to refocus right now, we have five points. But you just took it here instead of trying to get your body in front of it. Sam Bergio definitely keeps it very calm on the back row. I know that's a position group where a lot of times it can be super stressful. Um, getting hard driven balls hit at you all the time and having to serve receive and things like that, it's very mental. And so I think having her back there with that really calm mindset and really calm presence kind of helps everyone on the court, but especially um, the back row players that are with her. One of the things I try to do is bring a steadiness to the court because I've been through it all. I've made my share of mistakes on the court. And so I've learned a lot from that to not really let it affect me in my next play. I like to have fun and I think I have a pretty big personality, so just like kind of letting letting it loose and just having fun. You can definitely tell when Kylie makes a, a big play or, or something big happens and Kylie gets fired up, the team feeds off that, the bench feeds off that, the coaches feed off of that, and um, you know, whether Kylie likes it or not, I think our team kind of ebbs and flows with Kylie. If, you know, you are in your head or something, you can easily go to San Bergio, and then if you want to get hype at the next point, you can go to Kylie, or vice versa. They really balance out. It's nice to have those people that like believe in you and like want to get on board with you. And I don't know, I'm just same Kylie every day going into the gym. But um, it's really cool that uh, there's people that look up to me like that, and I I hope that I can inspire them and keep them going even when I'm I'm done playing. We're at Uptown Coffee, yeah. on the Square. This is Finn. He's a year and he's a Jack Russell. Oh, he's so cute. cute. I don't realize how small he's so small. He was. small. I, I am not allowed to drink us that much coffee. <laughs> yeah, I don't like coffee, but we're the tea drinkers on the team. Yes. I like yeah. Coffee. I like I love coffee. I drink it every morning. We have a lot of people that drink a lot of coffee. Gigi drinks. No, she gets like Caramel syrup with a little bit of vanilla. Caramel? Or vanilla, I don't know. What do you like say? Caramel? Caramel. 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 Can I just have an ice cream tea? Sweet. And there's an ice chai with almonds. Thank you. I got a chai tea latte with almond milk because I don't like regular milk. <laughs> you and Josh are also both lactose. I usually like my coffee hot, but I like to make my own coffee at home, so when I'm out, that's when I'll get like a nice latte. We like to hang out a lot, just watch movies. Big yeah. food team. We've done a few like dip nights. Oh. Anything with food and hanging together, we'll do that. And not even just like full team dinners, because we do those sometimes, but also people will go out to dinner and they'll be like, oh, we're going here, like whoever wants to go shows up. And I think that that's been like a great opportunity for people to be able to get closer with each other and that definitely shows on the court. Yeah, so we're either doing taco night or pizza night. We're cooking tacos. Aubrey's definitely yeah, going to take yeah. the win on that. Yeah. She makes really good homemade guac and salsa and anything taco related, she's good at. No, it's definitely caramel. <laughs> it's caramel. It is not caramel. So you're lactose intolerant? Lactose you intolerant. <laughs> I have asthma. I'm allergic to pretty much everything. I don't like coffee. But she's been getting a lot of kids this season. Yeah. That's probably why. We'll see you guys later at dinner. Thanks for following us. Hi. We're here with Ole Miss Volleyball. We're just going to make dinner and paint some pumpkins. No, no, get the good pumpkins. We're painting pumpkins, we're doing teens, and then I think the older girls are gonna judge us. So we'll see how that goes. I paint I'm painting, and I'm like the oldest. Oh, you are the oldest, but you're young at heart. It doesn't matter your age. <laughs> we're going with like the Charlie Brown, like the great pumpkin. The, this, I don't know how close that is. But that's what we're gonna go for. We'll see how it goes. Don't put us to anything, because we play volleyball. We don't paint for a living, so. 
She I actually guess. paints a lot in her face. Uh, She's a liar. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm with Katie. Oh, we're gonna do, yes. We already had an idea of yes, brewing right. today, yes, so yeah. we're gonna beat all these fools. Well, I think we could paint it in 60 minutes, but I don't know if it'll be done. Sasha, Bria, you on our team? I actually and Julia. Julia. And Julia. And Charlotte's uh, supervisor and Gigi's a supervisor. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm the monitor. I'm gonna put the moon. Yeah, I do. And then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna etch. Oh, okay. Do you unless you don't want to? I was do that. I can do the we can do, we can do the dude last though. Yeah. Um, we started the pumpkin painting and then it started raining and we don't want to get paint on Cal and Sasha and Riley and Hayden's house. So we're not really sure what the next step is. I don't really know. I just decided to come help because I, I felt like they weren't dabbing the paint yeah, on me. So I... <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, what's the mastermind? Behind this? Um, that would be Cal. <laughs> that would be Sasha. It would, Sasha's not, our group leader's not here. Yeah, our group leader. Our group dryer. Um, Bailey's leader. looking at our pumpkin like something. Yeah. Yeah. It's very abstract. It's very abstract. Just wait until she dries it. Just wait. Dries it? Just wait. Dries it? Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, with the blow dryer. Wait, Cal, where's your blow dryer? It is dry. Oh, in my opinion. Cal, you're going to pull this up and pull it right here. Oh. That looks like a mummy or something. Oh, it's a mummy, yeah. It's a mummy. If you want to be a cupcake, it can be a cupcake. If you want to be a donut, whatever it can also be it smells so good. You think. Whatever vibe you're picking up, that's what it is. So we both grew up watching Charlie Brown, especially around Halloween. So I went with the great pumpkin. Yeah. The Sharpie got a little messed up. It was not really working We, we were on crunch time. We were on crunch time, but yeah. So we're the sweetest team. No yeah. <laughs> we made a donut or a cupcake. Whatever you want. Definitely donut. Definitely donut is what we were going for, but you know cupcake works too. Yeah. Our pumpkin is Lil Wayne. <laughs> um, it's not my team. <laughs> it was a great team effort. Um, uh, I did it all. Sasha! <laughs> Just kidding, they were very helpful. They were very helpful. She did the whole face, but we helped. Yeah, they painted all the white. Yeah. Yeah. To create Lil Wayne. Yeah. With the teardrops. We got spooky, eek, and boo on here. We, but you know, we're really going with the Halloween thing. Yeah, I'm like a little bit obsessed with Halloween, so we kind of just stuck to like the OG vibes. Yeah, shout out to Pinterest. Yeah. Vote for us. I vote for the Lil Wayne pumpkin. Mmm, Lil Wayne. I vote for Lil Wayne. Woo! I also do too. Woo! Yeah. I do too. Woo! Donut. <laughs> I vote donut. <laughs> Team Ghost. Hi <laughs> everyone, come help! Come help! Oh my god! Oh no, 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 what? I get her hug. One person. <laughs> One each. <laughs> I'd like to thank yeah. Amanda for coming up with Lil Wayne. Let's just say bye. Bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs>
it's always fun to try to understand why a coach is using a timeout. And, and potentially for Coach Mendoza, it was to stop Sasha Ratliff from eating as much as she has early on. You know, I, I would agree with that. Although the Rebels started hot, the Gamecocks would hang around just long enough to steal the first set, 25-22. Really important to kind of change the mojo and, and shift momentum. We kind of just threw the first set away and kind of just restarted. We refreshed our minds and got back to work. South Carolina would keep the momentum they had early in set two. And when it seemed like they would seal a 2-0 lead going up 21-19, senior leadership would calm the Rebels. This is the time when we really need to start talking to each other and embrace each other more. We don't trust each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so when someone's talking, like, let's listen. Like, I should listen. So we got time. 21-19 is the Gamecocks are looking to go up two games to none. What a start that would be for Tom Mendoza's bunch. Scrambling to keep it alive is Rubric. She gets it over the net, but at what cost? Cover! Off-speed swing by Bear was kept alive from off-speed on the right side to a powerful punch. Anna Bear with a massive kill as South Carolina had set point. You're going to have to play hard to beat the Rebels here on their home floor. Bergotch the kill out of the middle. Set point for the Rebels. Fisher with the dig. Anna Bear cross court. Rebels not it up at one. Anna Bear now in double figures. Ten kills. Yeah! The first two sets proved to be back and forth contests. The third set would decisively belong to the Rebels. Anna Bear on the near side with a hammer of a swing. Sasha Ratliff roofs South Carolina on the far side. Anna Bear went up into the stanchion on the near side, stays out of the net, and sharply cuts that one down the net. She just defies physics. That's not possible. That's not humanly possible. Wilson was looking to get offensive, and Sasha Ratliff had other plans. <laughs> Wilson this time going out to white side. She's blocked, and it's Kylie McLaughlin again. Kylie! You know, you feel the energy, um, feel the momentum on our side, and it's, it's a very tangible thing that you can feel. Um, so once you kind of get that feeling, then you know you're in kind of a good spot, and it's maintaining that. We are really ready to come back stronger in set two and three, and um, I think we definitely did that. Set point coming for Ole Miss. Riley Fisher, the little pop-up serve, drops in front of the 10-foot line for the ace. With their backs to the wall in set four, the Gamecocks would respond with an impressive set of their own, taking it 25-17. This Friday night showdown would come down to a definitive fifth set. The fifth set's actually crucial in the beginning of the set. Like, the first five points are kind of the most important because Typically, whoever like, ends up with that lead will end up winning the match. It's short, but we, we always tell each other, you know, empty the tank. Like, everything you have left, you just need to do it for 15 more points. It's a lot of mentality stuff. The fifth set is a matter of who wants it more. Rubric out of the middle, stuck by Rowling. It's dropping! Oh, okay. Yep, yep. now has 20 kills. Her previous career high was 15. Cross court finding the corners and a bear. Ole Miss doubles their lead. As they had done all night, the Gamecocks would battle their way back, this time to a 13-13 tie. Attack here, it's Ratliff tipping effectively. It all comes down to these final moments. 
Sasha Ratliff with the ball in her hands. It is match point Ole Miss. Setting outside for Kyla Manning, high off hands. Lauren Thompson punches it forward. Anna Bear now with the swing. She tools the block. It's a win for Ole Miss. 15-13, the Rebels take the fifth and final set. <laughs> I liked it a lot. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited. Sasha, 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 That's a great example of being engaged enough to be able to perform at any position you're thrown in at. You guys, you found a way to pull through. You found a way to come together and, and find the win. Um, even when things weren't always going our way. Okay, but we gotta keep figuring out and finding ways to win. And you guys did that tonight, so great job there. Nice job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on three, one, two, three. Yes. That was good. Yeah. What's Texas? Yeah. Oh, Texas, Mexico. Yeah. Texas, yeah. 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 Sasha wants to know if she can make heart attack jokes. Well, I won't like it, okay. I wish I knew what I was doing, but I'm trying to get the refried beans. All in this bowl. Here you go. And it's not successful. <laughs> I can't drink a lot of coffee because I have heart issues. <laughs> and I can talk. <laughs> you, we need a bigger <laughs> bowl. <laughs> we need a bigger <laughs> bowl. Use a pan. No. 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 <laughs> Funny story. Riley, before like she was on our team, she left her pet hamster at my house and I had to take care of it and it died. <laughs> you don't need it? What is Just that? Like the grease? <laughs> Beef! Beef! Oh, it's warm. I had a guinea pig, and then I was allergic to it, and ended up on an oxygen tank because I couldn't breathe. So, <laughs> the moral of the story, I'm pretty much allergic to anything. Um, they're kind of cold still. So it looks like dog food. <laughs> I've never eaten free fried beans before in my life. Ole Miss Volleyball! Wait, what's up? This is our sign. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put this in there. Do not put this in there.